And so uh, my laboratory here in New Virginia, I uh, left the academic uh, environment in 2010, uh, University of Virginia, and before that, University of Colorado, and started my own uh, basic science laboratories and biotech uh, working in soil and microbial intelligence. And out of that experience, we've come on to be able to show unexpectedly that Roundup is really the epicenter of the chronic disease epidemics that we see today. And so that Roundup molecule turns out to not be uh, ever patented as a weed killer by Monsanto or any of the other companies. Instead, it's been patented as an antibiotic and, and it's antimicrobial effect. It's also been uh, uh, patented as an antiparasite, antifungal and the like. It kills the microbiome at multiple levels. Interestingly, in their own patents, uh, Monsanto has revealed how this chemical works. And the chemical works by disrupting an enzyme pathway in bacteria, fungi, and plants that create the essential amino acids. The essential mm -hmm. amino acids are the necessary building blocks for all protein. All proteins are the building blocks and the workhorses like enzymes of cellular structures throughout the entire you know, multicellular world. And so whether you're an earthworm or a human, you rely on a very uh, small subset of these amino acids. Nine of the, the total category of amino acids are what we call the essential amino acids because we as multicellular organisms like worms and, and humans can't make these amino acids. The majority we can, but the nine essentials, we are much like the vowels. These are the, the letters within the alphabet that if deleted, start to affect every single word or every single protein that would come out of the, the construction of those amino acids into their various sequences. And so in the 1980s and 90s, as we started to, to infiltrate our food system with this chemical, we started to delete the capacity of the soil microbes and the plants that would grow in them to build the, the, the storage or database of essential amino acids. And so the whole planet has begun to misspell proteins. And when we misspell proteins, we diminish function, whether you're a bacteria or a plant, we can kill you very quickly because these are integral uh, you know, faculties within you. And so we act as a potent antibiotic, broad spectrum, more broad spectrum than any of the antibiotics we would give a human typically. And so the most potent antibiotic on the earth right now is, is, is this Roundup chemical. And unfortunately, it's integrated into the food and water systems now. We are currently dumping about 5 billion pounds of this chemical into the world's uh, soils. And unfortunately, it's water soluble, which means it gets into the runoff it gets into the river systems and the oceans where it evaporates and ends up in our air and in our rain. 75% of the air we breathe in the United States can be measured positive for glyphosate, 75% of the rainfall glyphosate. And so we are breathing it, we're eating it, we're drinking it, it's raining on us, it's raining on our crops. So mm -hmm. I really encourage everybody to go towards a organic and ultimately as we get the labeling right in our country, regenerative organic foods for the purpose, not just because it's better for your health, because it will change the industry that's dumping the chemicals into the system. With the, yeah. with the obvious reality that if you're eating organic, you're still eating Roundup. You're still breathing Roundup. It's still raining. Yeah, that's what's going to be my question. Is to eat, so eating organic isn't the total solution if it's ubiqu ubiquitous in our environment. It doesn't fix your, your glyphosate toxicity problem. It reduces the level of glyphosate remarkably, but it doesn't okay. at all get, it, get you to zero. For example, we just finished a double blind placebo controlled uh, study for Restore, our dietary supplement line. And in that study, we were tracking Roundup levels in, in the urine of patients. And it's interesting that here's you know a group of, of consumers that are actually already on the healthiest end of the spectrum of consumers. They're already aware of this organic stuff. They're, a lot of my followers and stuff like that. And so you 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 distill down the healthiest population and still we could not find a single person that didn't have Roundup in their urine. Yeah, that's crazy.